Today, I'm going to explain to you a problem I see every single new player making. I'm going to give you some advice from a player who has 13,000 hours inside this game. As you guys know, I've been grinding in the professional scene, trying to make it to the top of the ladder. And this is just something that I know every player has gone through because it's just not something you understand when you're new to the game. So for those of you who are trying to learn Counter-Strike and get better, I'm here for you guys. I've got you with this tip and we will make sure that you are improving and getting as good as you can at this game that I love so much. But also, you know what I really love about Counter-Strike is the skins. So let me go ahead and give you a message from the sponsor of today's video. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Skins Monkey. They are one of the greatest and easiest to use CS2 trading sites out there. With it being the holiday season, there is no better gift to give yourself than a new CS2 inventory. You can swap out the skins you do not like for brand new ones that are so much more fresh. Even skins that are trade locked can be secured by adding them to your backpack. The greatest thing about the site is that you can buy skins for so much cheaper with a 35% deposit bonus when you use my code, Kojo. Make sure to check out the freebie section where you can get a free skin just by completing tasks. On top of the bonuses, you also get a $5 bonus when clicking the link in the description. All right, shout out to Skins Monkey. Those guys are so awesome. Thank you all so much. And every single person that uses my code helps this channel out so much more than you know. So let's go ahead and talk about this tip. So in Counter-Strike, obviously we, we want to hold angles, right? We want to play positions where, uh, you know, we're, we're holding things and, you, you know, it's just part of the game. You got to sit still sometimes. You got you to gotta be in one place. But one thing a lot of new players don't understand is holding angles super close to walls like this is so bad. Say I'm in like a 1v3 situation and I'm trying to hold this palace angle. There's people coming out ramp and connector. If I'm holding from here, I am a noob. I'm a bad player. And a lot of you guys are like, why am I? Why is he a bad player if he's holding there? Because what you got to understand about Counter-Strike is that it takes into account the length of your gun and it'll stick out, right? So it, depending on what gun you're using, it's going to be a different distance, right? With pistols like P250s and stuff, you can practically hold any angle and your gun's not really ever going to stick out. You have to literally be like up on the wall for it to stick out. But when you're like opping and stuff, your barrel is so long that it's going to stick out. Now, why is this a problem? Why, why is it bad if our barrel sticking out? Because people are going to see you. So that same angle we were just holding here with the with the up literally if somebody comes up through connector here you're going to look like a total noob because they're going to see your gun barrel and they're just going to come through here and start pre-firing you right and this is especially like with the m4a1s because it has such a long barrel and that's why like guns like the auger are kind of nice but this is just everywhere guys i was using this angle for as an example earlier you need to be careful instead of holding the angle like shallow like this uh, which a lot of new players do. They just like choose an angle and they hold it like that because they don't know any better. Just play on the backside of angles, right? Play on the backside to give yourself uh, the most cover possible. You don't want to expose yourself at all, right? And that just goes for for everywhere, right? You know, uh, you, you can pick any angle and it's going to be like that, right? It's just like, everywhere across the map is you don't want to be exposed. Like right here, they're actually going to kill you from wall bangs because look at our foot. You can even see with our foot here. I'm not exposed to the window at all, but clearly from where my foot is, you can see that if someone was in here in the apartments, they can literally see my foot and as well as my gun barrel and everything, right? And it's just not something you realize when you first start playing the game. You're just like, oh, I'm going to play here and I can't see them so they can't see me. But Counter-Strike is an extremely realistic game where, no, it, they can still see you even if you can't see them. So don't play an angle like this. Instead, play back here, right? Play back here and you're completely covered, right? You're completely covered by the wall here. You're completely good and they're not going to get you anymore. It's very solid to do. And it's just something that you always need to keep in mind. And, you know, it's just something you're going to have to experiment with, too. Like, it's not something that you're always going to know, right? You're not always... If I have 13,000 hours in the game and sometimes I'm still like, hey, is, you know, I wonder if my gun barrel is sticking out or not. It's just like why you don't play here with an A1S. They're, they see your barrel, right? They literally see it sticking out because of uh, how long the gun is, right? Um, it's why, like, you would play here instead of right there, right? And it's why, like, playing here with a pistol is completely fine, but playing here with a rifle is awful. You know, same thing with like a shotgun. Your shotgun is fine here. But one thing you can also do to compensate for this is say you want to play on a close angle like this. You can actually just stick your gun into the wall. You know, you don't actually have to keep it posted here. And what you do is like you keep it stuck into the wall and we're looking right here. And as you can see on the side of my screen, on the right side, I can still see if somebody walks by. So if somebody walks by, I can flick to them, right? And I can sit here and wait. And Loki is kind of trippy looking at these bullet things. It's actually so trippy. Look at this. Sorry, it's a little distraction, but that is so weird. But yeah, anyway, you know what I mean? Like you can keep your gun in the side of the wall and you'll be completely fine. 
um, but it's all about angles. It's everything. And generally, what you want to do inside this game, especially if you're an opper, listen up right now if you want to op inside this game. Whenever you are holding angles, it's important to have as much distance as possible, right? So it's the difference between us swinging cat here. Look how close we are to this wall. When we're swinging cat here, they are going to have the advantage on us before we have the advantage on them because they're going to see our gun barrel swing out before they can see us, right? Same thing with the op. If they're coming here with the op, any gun. Um, if you're playing a farther angle than they are, you have the advantage. So right here, I have the advantage when they're swinging because of how far I am. Right here, I have an extreme advantage. I'm going to see their elbows, their arms, their gun, everything before they see us, right? Versus if we're playing up here close with anything, you know, a shotgun or anything, they could actually see us before we see them if they swing the angle right. If they swing back here, they're going to see our gun barrel. This is a game of angles and keeping your distance is huge. Whenever you're farther from an angle, you have the advantage technically on the swings. Does that mean you always want to be far from an angle? No, if you have a close range gun, you need to get up with close to personal. Um, just understand that if they do swing behind and far, they're going to see you first. And they, you always have that risk of being spotted before they spot you. You know, they can see your, your arm and stuff. So I hope this is a helpful tip to you guys. I hope you learned a little bit from this video. It's something that even if you have a lot of hours in this game, you might not have understood. So this should be a, you know, a helpful reminder, a tip to you. And, you know, just a reminder that when you're playing angles, don't be a fool. Just understand, you know, what can be seen and what can't be seen because it's a huge part of this game. So if you guys thought this video was helpful, go ahead and watch these two videos on your screen right now so that you can learn more and get better at this game. Appreciate every single one of you. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out.